Hey there everyone, I'm Brent Langston and I'm a developer advocate at Amazon Web Services. Today I want to show you how to use ECR to store your container images and how to manage the image lifecycle with the ECR lifecycle policies. So let's start with a simple Hello World app. We'll start by creating a repository to host our images and for each image we want to push, we'll need to define a repository in ECR. So here I am in ECR and I'm just going to click the Get Started button and you can see that I have to give my repository a name. Hello world. And I'll just go to the next step. And that's all I have to do. At this point, I have a new repository created and I can go to my client and start to use these commands to push and pull images. So the first step is to log in to my new Docker registry. I'll copy this AWS ECR get login command, and that outputs a Docker login command I can use. So I will copy and paste that, and now you see I've logged in successfully. From here, if I build my Docker image, I now have a new image built and ready to push to my Docker registry. The next command is showing me how I can tag my image. And you can see that I just tagged my image hello world latest. Now I could also tag it with any number of other things. By default, many developers will tag their images latest. I've used latest, but you could also use a SHA from a git commit or a hash from a build number from your CI CD system if you are automatically generating new image builds. Now that we've tagged the image, we'll push this to Amazon ECR. I'm gonna copy this command for Docker push and we've pushed our image and back on the console we now have an image in our registry. A great feature of Amazon ECR is that images are encrypted and compressed when they're added to the repository. This Docker file image was about 15 megabytes before I pushed it, and now you can see it's only 6.24 megabytes. That's about a 60% compression. This helps reduce your storage costs and also makes it faster to pull images when you go to run them. Over the life of a project, we will end up building a lot of images. Having already built images available is handy, but there comes a point when it's unlikely that you will need that build artifact. This is where lifecycle policies come in handy. Our workflow is to push images while we develop them. When we merge our feature branch to the development branch, we will tag it development with a release number, and then we'll tag it with development by itself, which is a moving tag. Same with staging, same with production. So you can see we have staging two, production five, development four, and then we have a lot of untagged images also that were just work in progress. We will probably never want to roll back more than a few versions of our software. So let's create a lifecycle policy that preserves the most recent images, but cleans up older images that will likely not be used again. We'll start by clicking the tab for dry run of lifecycle rules. And let's say that we want to keep 10 production images and five staging images and five development images. We can add a rule. We give the rule a priority and a description. We can specify a tag prefix, and then our match criteria is going to be image count more than five. We can do the same thing for development. And then remember all those untagged images that were just work in progress? Let's make a rule to clean those up also. Let's just keep around the last 30 or so. So we'll add
image count more than 30. This time you'll notice I picked untagged for image status and save. If we're happy with this result, we just apply as lifecycle policy. And now we have a policy in place to keep our registry tidy. So that's how we can use Amazon ECR to host our Docker images and automatically clean up the images we don't need anymore. You can learn more on the AWS website. Thanks for watching.